G'day guys, how are you going? Um, bit has happened. We've, um, you know, the uh, internet cable that we're trying to find, and um, we we found it just, you know, on the door here. And then, um, and because you know we're sort of a paperless company, we we do take photos of jobs that we're doing. And I just had this random photo of um, of my plumbing pipes, but over in the corner, um, I'll, I'll put up on the screen. You can see that these three pipes were going off the direction towards the front door. Okay. Now, I could see that the, one of the pipes um, had this black duct taped cable coming out of it and then it was heading off diagonally across the office underneath the concrete. Um, so a mate of mine, um, or customer Warren, uh, came out. So the pipes were down here and he said that, you know, um, it's definitely going that way. And then when I saw that photo from the other direction, and that means that um, there's no way we could have pulled it out because just down here, it was running across that way somewhere and, and it was over to the front of, the, um, of the, the unit. And so that's where the NBN box is out there. And so there's a cable running from there to here. So I got this, um, Warren put me onto these other guys called uh, Fever Pitch. I don't know what it means, but they're a company that does this NBN stuff. And he came out and he had his tracer thing. So that they attached the, the electrodes to the to copper cable and that sent off a signal. And then he was, you know, ginning around, trying to um, find, it, find it. So he's, he's put a mark over here. He found the cable just here where he's got this dot. And then as he was sort of going around, he was lining it up here, okay? And then there was, uh, he, could, he could tell there was something underneath here. So I thought, well, this would be a great spot because then we could cut it here and then put it into the warehouse, okay? so. Um, he was like, well, I've got to go away because, you know, you have to, you have to get someone to cut the concrete. I said, look, dude, just give us five minutes. I'll oh, we'll cut that out and because uh, I'm keen to get this sorted. So I know where I stand, you know, because I don't want to put any office flooring down or anything like that. So, um, yeah, so once I uncovered it, he got, got his little locator and then we found the three pipes, right? There were three pipes. So the, obviously one goes to the, the unit next door. The other one must go across to the other unit. Um, and of course, mine was in the middle, which is the hardest one to cut. So we cut it, okay, um, and we managed to get the cable so we could pull it and it started moving, okay. So what we did, we got this orange line and we tied it on the other, other, other end of it, which is really strong. And then we pulled that orange feed all the way through and then brought it up in this hole here, down here. And then once we'd had that, that draw feed through, then um, one of the other guys got a, uh, a cable. It's a 10 pair, which I think there's 10 phone lines on there or something. I don't know, a bit overkill. I'll be happy with three or two. Two would have been good, but they've given me 10 because I know they said it's not much extra and it's easier to, to pull it through. So then, um, so they set that up out the front and then the guys in here just pulled that draw cord and pulled that whole black cable through. So now I've got a 10 pair that goes all the way up uh, into this uh, box here. And so it, it sort of wraps around a couple of times and then he's like cut them all and then pushed them all in or something. I don't understand it. So my electrician Pete's got to run from there and that goes all the way out the back. Um, we've got one of those um, internet cable boxes or data, data boxes or something. I'm not sure, so we need something. So I've got like a little data box here to keep it all dust free and something. So uh, that's, that's where that's ended up. So I've put the concrete back in that, so uh, that's all sorted.